Over the years, it has been a dream for many a Brazilian footballer to pull on the famous all-white shirt of Los Blancos and cement their name in the history books. But that Real Madrid badge is a heavy one. For some, that weight was too much to bear. But for a golden few, they wore that shirt with pride and glory, winning countless accolades with Madrid and going down as some of the best footballers of all time. The latest in that long list is Vinicius Jr. Commonly regarded as the brightest talent to come out of Brazil since Neymar Jr. But now, it's time for him to step out of the shadow of his predecessors and carve out his own story. Vinicius Jr. is coming of age. Welcome to Coming of Age. The Vinicius Jr. Become a Legend series. Welcome to the channel. I am your host, Shogun FC, and we'll be taking Vinicius Jr.'s career into our own hands, writing his story, and seeing if he can truly step up and become the player I think everyone believes he can be. And uh, we have just joined Real Madrid. And we need to get accustomed to things around here uh, before we start getting to some friendlies the International Champions Cup Benfica, Valencia and Arsenal will be our opponents and there's our captain Sergio Ramos and let's have a look at the preferred number our number is 28 at the moment hmm. is that the one we want to stick with? I mean that seven is open do we try and step up and say that we are the next Ronaldo we've got to try and replace Ronaldo here anyway why not just go for it Christ you can really go all the way up can't you Jesus you can really have like 999 but we're gonna go with number seven we'll ask for it see if the club think we're good enough for it and let's just look at the stats that we start with Obviously, the manager's trust level, very low. We are new to the club, he knows nothing about us, we know nothing about him. The attacking prowess, uh, not as high as it probably could be, but not terrible for an 18-year-old. Ball control and dribbling in the 80s. Speed, 84. Explosive power, 88. On wavering balance, 83. Stamina, 72, isn't great. Passing in the low 70s as well, isn't great. Finishing in the high 70s. There's potential there. So we know what we want to work on. We want to work on that passing and finishing. Also get that dribbling up into the 90s and be a real, real handful for defenders. And we've got a whole host of playing skills here. A multitude of ways to carve up defenders, hopefully. And uh, make an absolute mockery. Alright, so our first game and we do start. We start on the left. Alongside Modric, Gareth Bale on the right hand side, Kroos and Casemiro in defensive midfield, and Marcelo, our fellow countryman, working with us. That'll be good. And uh, Benzema up top. So the players that are around us, we've got some good players. We've got a great, I wouldn't say supporting cast. They're obviously better footballers than we are right now. But, uh, we're going to have to make sure that we stay on job. Because uh, the likes of Asensio, it's going to be hard to replace him in this side and shift him out. So uh, we need to make sure that we are absolutely on our job. Teams, playing styles, counter-attack, short pass, attacking area wide, flexible positioning, and uh, front-line pressure for defence. Okay. Let's do this. Away we go. Our season, our series, and our career starts here. Real Madrid have signed Courtois. What a signing that is. Great goalkeeper, of course. Now the Real Madrid fans 
that will be getting to know us game by game. And there we are, currently with the number 28. Hopefully, going to earn ourselves that number 7. And Jonas, the danger man for Benfica. And that is the team we are lining up with. And Andre Almeida and Rafa Silva are the players that we're going to have to deal with on our side. Working hand in hand with Marcelo. Our first touch of the ball is a confident one. Ball goes out to Modric. Oh, great ball for Vinicius Junior. Finds Benzema. Oh, and he couldn't score. That would have been a nice early assist. But instead, we could get an early goal. Oh, drags the shot wide. And PZ on that left hand side. Looking to cause some problems. The short pass into the area. Good save. Courtois with a strong hand there. It's out for a corner. We pick it up. Now we can whip that cross in. Benzema. Ah. Now Vinicius Jr. in a dangerous area. Looks to cross. Oh, good effort. Gareth Bale tried the spectacular. At half time, it's nil nil. We haven't really had things our way so far. It's been a bit of a stalemate for both teams, to be honest. Real Madrid have had the better of the chances. But nothing really to write home about so far. Now, Marco Asensio has come on, but he's come on for Luka Modric as opposed to us. Which might suggest that we might get to see this game out as long as we can manage our stamina. Cheeky bit of footwork there from Vinicius Jr. On the overlap now. Finds Marcelo. Oh, it's a poor ball in from Benzema. The attack is still on though. Good ball out wide. Vinicius Jr. In here. Oh, just couldn't quite. Bends him up. And the ball out wide. Oh, he went for the shot rather than the cross. We've got in front of our defender. There you go. Got a touch there. And now the ball into Benzema. Don't waste this. Come on, Benzema. You've got to do better than that. A little knock down there. Set that move up. There's a great ball from Kroos and Benzema just... Ah. He forced a save, but really, really should have scored. And uh, we've been taken off now. We are too tired. It's go on. And uh, I'll let you know if anything comes of it. Oh no, Jonas is in and he scores. Oh. Real Madrid just didn't take our chances. Benzema, not really the guy. Are we really going to miss Ronaldo this much this season? It was a good play. Jonas started that move himself and just acres of space to take his time pick his spot Isco come on get this in ball out to Bale oh come on we lose 1-0 not a great start to things Jonas with the goal an all round poor performance from Real Madrid and he knows it and uh, we got a 6.0, not too bad. Not great either. And 
Arsenal record a 1-0 win over Valencia and they top the group purely on alphabetical order. We get uh, plus two manager trust there, so not too bad. Means we didn't have a particularly bad game at least. Oh, we've signed Raheem Sterling. Now, this is interesting because he's a good player. He's going to make us better and we will hopefully replace Benzema. But that also gives us a lot more competition on that left-hand side. Ah. However, we are the club's new number seven, which Sterling would have almost certainly taken had we not requested it on day one. So there's a lot of pressure on our shoulders right now. We have to deliver. And now we are set to face Valencia. Rivals, of course. We're on good form today as well. I'll take that. Modric starts out wide right and Asensio up top today. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Now, game two of the uh, preseason friendly tournament. We need to get a win here. We have to get a win. Nothing else is good enough. Good ball and defeat. Reese's Jr. on this overlap. Oh, tried to turn. Could get a finish here. And we get straight involved into Asensio. Surely a finish. Oh, come on. Not a bad start here. We just need to make sure we don't hide away. We get involved in the play wherever we can. Uh, don't shy away from asking for the ball. It's going to be a big step up. It's going to be hard. That's what these games are for. It's for getting used to things. Uh, Vinicius Jr. on the chase here. Oh, surely you've got to play that. Why is he not passed that across? Vinicius Jr. Yes! We get the goal. Fantastic. Vinicius Jr. gets off the mark for Real Madrid. And uh, can't complain there. We got the goal in the end. I can't believe he didn't pass it there. We were calling for that. But Isco with a, a cheeky little reverse pass there. We managed to clip that just over the keeper. Brilliant ball. And just, just creeps in. But there we go. We get that number seven and we get that goal. And uh, <laughs> cue the pressure. Finds this go. Oh, surely. Oh, that's brilliant stuff. That is brilliant stuff. Vinicius Jr. with two goals today. And what brilliant play that was. Just made that run. And a cheeky back heel and a great finish. Much more convincing this time. Excellent play from Asensio. And uh, Dominic in goal had no chance. Vinicius Jr. does well to tackle there. And again... He's got options. He's got runners. He's got a chance to score. Oh, he wants that hat trick. It just opened up for us. Almost like the Red Sea parting there. And it got to a point where it would have been criminal not to take a shot. Uh, Release this junior. Ready for the counter. And there we go. It is Vinicius Jr. It's him and Asensio. He's running. He's got time. He's got space. Tried to clip it into Asensio. Oh, lucky. Just did have done it a little bit too much. Vinicius Jr. there. Gets that cross in. A volley. Oh. Almost. A very good goal from Asensio there. Almost. 
Uh, just clever wing play there. Open up that space for the cross. Oh, and what a great ball that is. Isco surely finishes this. He doesn't, but Asensio does. We don't get the assist. But yet again, involved in a promising attack. And this one leads to a goal. And we're 3-0 up. And it seems we're finally finding ourselves here. Had a frustrating first game. But this time round, we're absolutely pulling the strings. And at half time, it is 3-0. And we're looking good. We're looking very good. Valencia do not know what to do with us. Vanessa Junior reads that. And now we come away with it. Oh, come on. How have we taken all the urgency out of that attack? We had them on toast. There we go. Let's keep this moving. Uh, it's a poor ball from Marcelo. Expect way better from him. Oh, get out of the way. He's blocked me off there. Now we're under pressure. Vinicius Jr. Beats one. Oh, come on. That was for the hat trick. Not going to get many better chances than that. Just drags it wide. Vinicius Jr. Finds Asensio. Marcelo. Vinicius Jr. again. Asensio, surely... Oh, come on. There's no urgency in the box. Absolutely none. Vinicius Jr. now. Still running at this defence. Tries to find Modric and he's fouled. Ezekiel Garay. I believe formerly of Real Madrid. Gets a warning from the referee. That's pretty much his last chance. Uh, that was reckless. Oh, that nearly crept in off the wall. Took a wicked deflection. That was not far away at all. Oh, no, back to is through. Good save. It's made easy for him. And now he's got another chance. Surely he doesn't squander this one. And he does. He's got a final chance again. And that's the one he scores. The most difficult one of them all is the one he scores. Manages to score past his former Chelsea teammate. Mishi Bakshuayi. With a goal. Nothing but a consolation at this point. Uh, a very good finish to be fair. Sterling comes on for Modric. Control comes on for Marcelo. One last attack. No, that's it. 3-1. We get two goals. Um, why is Casemiro sad? Are both teams out? That didn't look very good. <laughs> that does not look like how you celebrate getting three points. Now Benfica will come away with three points against Arsenal, which puts them on... Ah, I see the problem here. Valencia are out. Benfica beat us. Now, if this is settled on head-to-heads... And Benfica have already won. Whereas if it's settled on goal difference, if we batter Arsenal, there's a chance. Interesting. We're up to 25% manager trust now after that game. 
and uh, two goals. Can't complain. Looks like we're uh, going at least some way to justifying that number seven shirt. Let's see if we can keep it going. Let's see where we are playing. We're out on that left-hand side again. Gareth Bale on the right, Benzema up top. It'd be interesting to see if we can forge any kind of partnership with Benzema. Right, let's go. Real Madrid versus Arsenal. Arsenal, obviously, a team close to my heart. Led out by Socrates, no less. Let's see if we can put them to the sword. Leno, obviously a very good goalkeeper. Not going to be easy to beat. Um, is that not a foul? Jesus Christ, he went through the back of me. Oh, Visa Junior reads that brilliantly. Oh, almost. Tried that chop inside. But he was too smart to it. Oh, good effort. Mesa Ozil stings the palms of Courtois from a an unusual angle. But that needed the save because that was flying in. Now, Vinicius Jr. Great feet from him. We'll go out wide. Well done. Great feet from Vinicius Jr. there. And surely Benzema scores this. What is he doing? Oh, I cannot stand this guy. Vinicius Jr. Oh, finds Benzema with a great ball there. But an incredible interception stops it from going to his feet. But we do get a corner. Great ball into Modric. Vinicius Jr. Oh. Vinicius Jr. now finds Benzema. Oh, ref! Nothing there for that challenge in the box. And now Arsenal on the counter. Aubameyang! Oh, just off the post. And at half time, it's nil nil. We've had a pretty good half. Just haven't been able to turn it into goals. And we need lots of them. We need to win and we need to win big if we've got any chance. Vinicius Jr. comes away with it. Tries to find Benzema. Oh, lucky. Oh, now Bamiang's through. He's not going to get caught by Nacho. But it's a comfortable save. And uh, off we come. Raheem standing on. We didn't really get much chance to make things happen. We did all we could, as you can see there. Leading the passes at the time we came off. Now it's up to Sterling with fresh legs to try and make something happen. But first... I was going to say, first we have to deal with this attack, but Arsenal, go ahead there, Mkhitaryan, with one of the easiest finishes he'll ever have. And it is good football from Arsenal, to be fair. And again, they concede as soon as we go off. Not that we have any influence on the defensive side of the game, but still. I mean, it's training guard stuff. They made us look like fools there. And Adriozola and Contral come on. Not sure what chain, what good they're going to do. Not the most inspiring substitutions. And this Real Madrid side desperately, desperately need a striker. Sterling is a good signing. But unless he's going to go up top. Not sure what good he's going to do. And Aubameyang looks to just keep the play in that wide area there. But we do dispossess. Now we need to score. Come on. 
get everyone forward. Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale hasn't been very, very active, if we're being honest. Considering, you know, it's the best possible chance for him to take over the reins as the leader of this Real Madrid side. He hasn't really, uh, hasn't really done that so far. And there we go, he's off. Vasquez comes on. And there we go, it finishes 1-0. Arsenal get the win. And uh, it was pretty much settled that we wouldn't be able to win this anyway. Good sportsmanship there. And there are the final results there. And Valencia actually beat Benfica. So had we won, we'd have at least been top on goal difference. I don't know how that's settled. Um, it does appear to be goal difference. But we uh, we wasted our opportunity there, didn't we? Unfortunately. Still got uh, a slight increase in trust level. Uh, we are on three games, two goals. No assists. And I'm in the starting lineup again for the UEFA Super Cup against Atletico Madrid. What a game this is going to be. Come on then. What a way to get started. A baptism of fire against Atletico Madrid in the Super Cup. Let's see how we're setting up. Let's set up with that. Diego Simeone, 4-4-2. Four, four, he loves that. He knows how to deliver that. Angar Correa on the right. Obviously a channel favourite here. Thomas Lamar on the left. Griezmann and Diego Costa up top. That's a problem. We're, play we're playing on that left-hand side. We're up against uh, Partey um, on that, the right-hand side of that defence. Traditionally a midfielder, but functioning as a right-back today. Uh, Juan Fan, however, doesn't make the bench. Interesting. Historically tough stadium to come to for both of these teams. Let's see who can get the win today. Away we go. Benzema knocked that down. Didn't even challenge for it. Vinicius Junior. Oh, it's a strike from Bale. And what a finish that is. What a finish. We were saying Gareth Bale hadn't stepped up in the last match. Seems he was saving himself for the big time. And what a goal. Fantastic finish. Now, did we get the assist for that? Because I'm not sure whether it came off for us or the defender. Oh, look at that. Ball comes into us. Ah, oh, it came off the defender. But still a fantastic finish. And Audrey Zola might actually get the assist for that. Oh, through the legs as well. Jesus. What a finish. Oh, we've won that back. Gareth Bale. Vinicius Jr. Fizzes it across. Oh. Correa whips it in. Good clearance. Good knockdown again. We're not the tallest player, but we're pretty good at getting those knockdowns. Great feet. Ball out wide. Can you get there? Ah, uh, lock it. Oh, good interception there from Vinicius Jr. Gareth Bale. Oh, come on. We're, we're starting to fit into this team quite well now. Getting used to everyone's style of play. Getting used to the runs. Uh, that's unlucky from Bale.
Oh my goodness, Gareth Bale. He picked up on the loose ball at the back. And that front line pressing. And another absolute rocket there. Karim Benzema is probably going to be credited with the assist there. He's had a poor game, but did enough there. Yeah, it is an assist for Karim Benzema. And a good goal for Gareth Bale. With his weak foot as well. Top bins, have a word. Good little ball around the corner there from Vinicius Jr. is running in to follow up. And a great tackle from Partey, to be honest. Oh, Vinicius Jr. couldn't come away with that there. He wins it back. Oh, I tried it again. <laughs> it's still in the half time, though. Uh, all we need to do was see up that half there. Atletico Madrid offering absolutely nothing going forward. And uh, it's all us. Let's keep this going for the second half. Uh oh, Thomas Lamar. And it's dealt with. Thomas Lamar's going to put that one straight back in. That's a great touch to knock it down. It's a good finish. It's a very good finish. And Diego Costa sprints back to the centre circle. Keen to get this team back level as soon as possible. There we go. Vinicius Jr. Finds Benzema. Consistently there. Oh, good effort. And good play from Vinicius Jr. there. Oh, good header. Oh, what a ball that is. And surely. Vinicius Jr. Shoot! Why didn't he shoot? Oh! Why didn't he shoot? Oh my goodness. That's probably going to be our last chance. The subs are going to be coming soon. Vinicius Jr. picks up on that loose ball there. Now we've got options. Oh, and that pass just isn't good enough. Tired legs. Even still not really an excuse for how bad that pass was. And now if they equalise off this. There you go. That's a bit better. Better link up play. Finds Benzema. And again. Oh, it's headed out. We are very much finished. <laughs> Very much finished, I think. No, nope, we're still on the pitch here. Whips it. No one there to collect. And somehow we've stayed on the pitch here. Uh, we can't sprint too much. Because we will be definitely at risk of picking up an injury at that point. There we go, Vinicius Jr. Still going. Great feet. Oh, lucky. Uh, we'll try and pop it into the corners, but there's no one there. And there's still time for Atletico to get something back here. Well done. Uh, 
cover that run. Yes. And there we go. Did just enough. We win the UEFA Super Cup at the first try, and that is already a trophy for Vinicius Jr. at Real Madrid. But one trophy does not make you a Real Madrid legend. We know what the standards are like here. But what a start. Luka Modric, the captain. And they all embrace Luka Modric and Vinicius Jr. So many Brazilians have come to Real Madrid with big reputations and quite frankly not many have gone away with those reputations still intact. It's a very small list. We're talking about the likes of Marcelo, Ronaldo, keeping their uh, reputation still intact. But fantastic Brazilians have come here. Robinho, obviously the closest comparison that you could have, really. Young Brazilian teenage winger goes to Real Madrid on that left-hand side. Has a, a relatively bright start, but crumbles under the pressure over time. Doesn't match... The, uh, the incredibly high standards and demands that come with being a Real Madrid player. Is Vinicius Jr. going to be another one of those Brazilians that falls short of what they require at Real Madrid? Who knows? Oh my goodness, we've been picked for an international friendly. We're in the Brazil squad. We're about to make our international debut, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this... Everything's happening all at once right now for Vinicius Jr. It's all happening all at once. It's a big whirlwind. But we're going to take each game as it comes. There we go. We've got real quality, real quality. I love that. I think that's the title for this episode there. <laughs> real quality. I like that. Well, that is it for today's episode. Thank you all for, uh, for watching and we'll be back very very soon with the start of the La Liga season if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up if you're new around here subscribe uh, let me know in the comments down below whether you think we're going to achieve what we want to achieve at Real Madrid or whether our future lies elsewhere it's looking like a decent start also I want to see some goal targets in the comments down below obviously we're not going to be able to replicate Ronaldo's incredible goal scoring form but it'd be interesting to see what you guys think Vinicius Studio is capable of in his first season at Real Madrid goals and assists let me know in the comments down below and also check out the Patreon you can pledge as little as one dollar a month to help support this channel helps me put out more content helps me invest in equipment all that good stuff and there are perks for everybody who pledges ranging from tier one to tier three so please check that out and enjoy the rest of your day until next time take care peace